Hello citizens and welcome back. This is our match reaction for Newcastle 1, Man City 1 in the Premier League. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. Let's jump into it. So City failed to win another game in the Premier League. And to be honest, looking at Newcastle, I'd take a draw away to Newcastle. I think they're a um, tricky place to go. Can be a tough game, uh, team to play against. And you know what you're going to get when you play Newcastle team. You're going to get a bit of shit out three, which is what we got. They had Gordon playing um, that number 10 role, number 9 role, and he's a clown to begin with. But the rest of them, they're, they're pretty much thugs in defence. They're not footballers, they're thugs in defence. And in midfield, they're not far, you know, they're, they're not far off that either. So Pep needed to put out, he needed to put out a strong team today, and I don't think he got it right. You look at our start 11, you look at Edison in goal, uh, Vladio Walker, Diaz, Akanji, don't have any problems with that. And then you're looking at your CDM role and your centre midfielder role because you've got De Bruyne now, you've got Roger. Who does he play? And he got it wrong right from the kickoff for me. This isn't a game where you play Lewis. This isn't a game where you're going to get lots of time. And we'll get into that. But yeah, for me, you had to play coverage into that CDM role. Then you bring Foden in into that midfield and you, you put Gundogan alongside him. That's the midfield I would have gone with. And then oh, Bernardo instead of Gundogan. And then on the right-hand side, you had to play Sabino. You had to play Grealish on the left. And how in the front. So for me, that midfield was where where this game was wrong. And when you start this match, again, you could see what Newcastle were going to do. They were going to be physical. They wanted to go out. They disrupt. They were kicking, you know, and they wanted to put their their muscle in there. And they, they wanted to put their stamp on the game really early on and try and stop safe from playing the normal game, which is what we saw against Arsenal, which is what we see against most teams now. It's nothing new. They sat back with um, 11 defenders and they try and hit us on the break because they know our centre half is slow. And we've only got Walker who's quick on that side. And that's one of the reasons they played probably um, Gordon in the middle rather than the left hand side to use his pace to try and um, get up the pitch as quickly as possible and spread it out. But well, we rolled out them first 10 15 minutes really well, just well. I'd say well, maybe not really well. Defensively, in the first half, we were a bit of a shambles. And we didn't give Newcastle many chances. But the, with a bit of a bit more quality up front, they, they definitely would have got a couple more chances. And going forward, we created absolutely nothing in that first half. Fair. I think that's fair to say. I think at halftime, I would have said going no nil, decent result so far. Because like I said, they did disrupt us. They did pause on the floor a bit. They were slowing their game down and they were looking a threat of counterattacks. But we did manage to get a goal through um, Grealish and Vardio linking down the left-hand side. Vardio managing to get into a goal in on the back post via a deflection. And I think that that link-up worked really well, Vardio and Grealish. I thought they did really, really well. I thought Grealish and Vardio were probably our two best players in this game, I thought. They were out there to upset Grealish. You could see that. They were all kicking in. They were all pointing him to the floor. They were all trying to get in his face, especially that Tenali. We had to see why well, he's a footballer. Should have been banned for longer, in my opinion. But they... You know, they, they did put him on the floor quite a lot. And we see Grealish get fouled a lot anyway. That's why he was in my fantasy team at the beginning of the season. Because I knew he'd get more game time uh, this year round. But Vardio, again, probably our man of the match, gets the goal. Going 1-0 at half time, And you know Newcastle are going to come out and set up the way they did in the first half. They're going to put pressure on you. They're going to press you high when we're on the ball. And that's what they did. And the goal came from our... I mean, it's our own stupid mistake. You know, Paul defending too much space. Gordon runs through, he dives, he cheats, you know. I mean, Edison doesn't get touched on the ball, doesn't get a touch on the man. They score one all. And the next 10, 15 minutes were about us trying to survive, which is what we did because we let their crowd get into it. They got pumped up again. We survived the next 10, 15 minutes. Then we took control again towards the end of the game. But because they're all out defensive, we couldn't really break them down. We had a couple of half chances. Um, good volley by uh, Bernardo at the end, but, you know, straight down Pope's throat, really. And that was it. That, that was the game. It's two points. I want to say it's two points dropped, to be honest with you, because I think a draw away from Newcastle is a, a decent result at the end of the day. I, I, I would have taken it before the game, and I'll take it now. But going into this game, I said we're, we're not likely to keep a clean sheet. We didn't again. I think the clean sheet is going to be a problem for us this season if we don't find a way to stop teams from scoring. And it's not like it's just the teams like Newcastle and Arsenal. Everyone's scoring against us. Watford scored against us in the week. You know, it, it's it's a problem we need to prevent. And you look at the way they were setting up for corners as well. That's something we're going to have to look at set pieces because they were setting up the same way Arsenal did, which was all bad post, all try and run in and block Edison and let someone tap it home in an empty net. So we got to look at set pieces. We've got to look at defending because it has to change. 
And the one thing we got to do is we got to give teams less respect when they're on the ball. Yes, we do press in, and yes, we're pretty good at it, and yes, we'll win the ball back, which we did in this game a couple of times. But the difference in that second half between Newcastle and City and the aggression levels is that when we had the ball, we had no space because they were just flooding in on us. You know, it's like a group of 10-year-olds playing football on the school playground. They all just piled in on the person with the ball. So consistently, Kovacic, Lewis, Gundogan, Folden, you know, whoever is in that midfielder role, they were swamped by three Newcastle players every time they touched it. Whereas whenever they got the ball, whenever their midfielder touched it or their defence or their attackers, whatever, they always had 10, 15 yards of space to run at us before we went and engaged. That was the difference between the two teams' aggressions. And I think that's something we have to look at as well. Because when you play teams like Newcastle, you have to play them in their own game at some point. And we're capable of doing that. We've shown it against them. I let's come through it a couple of seasons ago. We're capable of playing teams at their own game. And we can be physical, physical, and we can be aggressive. And that's something that we needed to do today, and we just didn't. And maybe that's another reason why we dropped two points in that second half. Another reason is you look at a couple of the players. Diaz got out muscle twice. He got bullied off the ball by Jolinton in the first half to give them a corner. And then in the second half, he got bullied off um, the ball by Gordon at some point. I think it was um, just after they scored the penalty. Walker... Playing everyone on, well, playing Golden on side when he dived and won the penalty. Walker as well. I think Walker had a decent first half. I've always complained that Walker doesn't head the ball enough, doesn't defend well enough. And today, I think he did it all right in the first half. Second half, he went back to the Walker we know, which was absolute shambles. Can't pass. Can't do anything with a cross. Can't defend either. Um, and I still don't know why he's our captain. But yeah, the midfield, Gundwan, poor game. Lewis didn't do anything because we never had possession of it, really. Um, Kovacic, I thought he had a good game. Uh, I think he was a better than middle three. Savino, Doku, they came on in the second half. Savino, I really like Savino. And th I'll tell you what, the difference, I don't understand why Doku, I, I don't get him at all. Um, but Savino, one of the things I liked, and we saw it today, which was that his work rate matches his. He's such a threat at the other end of the pitch, but he does well defensively too. In the 88th minute or 89th minute, there's a point where Newcastle broke and he came running back from that front right position. He tracked all the way back, got the ball off Jolinton. And then he was the furthest one back for us defensively, passing the ball back to Edison to clear up the field. And by the time that ball bounced, um, Savino was the furthest one forward for us in the Newcastle half pressing. So he'd gone all the way back from his own box to their box um, in, the, in the space of one kick. And that's what I like about him. He looks dangerous, and I can't believe he didn't start him in this game. To be honest with you, I think we would have caused them more problems. And creatively, we looked better when him and Folden were on the pitch. And there's another thing. Why was Folden not playing from the start? He's got to play. When De Bruyne isn't in that middle, Folden definitely has to be in that middle because Gundogan, Lewis, and Kojic are not going to create you many chances. They're great at getting in the box late on, but they're not going to create you much. Folden or De Bruyne has to be in there. Uh, preferably both for me, but why Foden didn't start in this game? So for me, Pep got the team lineup wrong. He didn't make changes soon enough. And we just didn't get Haaland in the game. I thought Haaland had a poor first half in terms of a touch in holding up the ball and his, his link up play. But in the second half, he did much better. He just got no service. And like I said, I can't really complain about the draw because I think a draw is probably a fair result. And before the game, I would have taken it. So yeah, it is what it is. Newcastle, horrible team. Horrible team to play against. Like I said, their defence are not footballers, they're thugs, and the midfield isn't far off that as well, Jolinton and that. So, yeah, take it. We'll perform much better against them. And yet, I expect us to win there against them. Take the point. Move on. It could have been much worse. But on the back of a draw last weekend, it's, it's not been a great week, has it? It's not been a great week. Um, and yeah, we need to find a way to plug that Rodri hole. It isn't Lewis. It, for me, it's Stones. Stones plays that CDM role. Stones, Kovacic, Gundogan would have been a much better midfield. Well, Foden. Stones, Foden, Kovacic. That's the midfield I would have gone with. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Hit like, hit subscribe. Yeah, we got a point. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.